Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, coming at you with some of that endless scrap mechanic. In today's video, we are going to be checking out a new car to add to the collection, and that is the 2017 Ford GT, which you guys have requested so many times. I am extremely excited to finally have it ready for you. But now, before we do get into this video, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Now, if you haven't seen it already, I have a video of a four-wheeler and dirt bike. Absolutely amazing creations. I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen it yet. Now, I really want to make a truck that can tow them around with a trailer, so the question for you is, which kind of truck do you want to see in Scrap Mechanic built by my design style? Uh, so put it down in the comments, I'm really excited to see what you guys have. Now if you do see a truck that you want to see that someone already commented, then make sure you like their comment, so that way I know which one is the one you want to see the most. Uh, so with that out of the way though guys, it is definitely time to check out the Ford GT. Alright, so here we are at the other end of the highway, ready to check out this really cool car. So this one was a lot of fun to build. There was quite a few challenges with this one when it came to designing it. Um, as you can see, of course, my cars are relatively big. Uh, the reason for that is because it allows me to create a little bit more detail. Uh, so some of the toughest things with this car was the amount of layers that it had with some of the paneling. So I tried to emulate that the best I could here in the game. So as you can see, there are some like overlapping kind of textures here uh, that is kind of supposed to imitate the paneling that you would see on the car. Another very difficult thing that I had was the way that it went from the front of the car towards the doors here, and the way it swooped in was kind of tricky, so I'm really happy with the overall design. There's some type of like black air vent here that I saw in the picture because I did use a reference image from the internet. Uh, so one thing that I really did have fun though was making this hood. Uh, as you can see there's loads of layers here as well. Um, this was like some type of uh, perforated metal on the top of the car in the hood. Uh, so I tried my best to, you know, keep it as realistic as possible here. Um, and it moves all the way up to the hood here. It's kind of funny actually, I have to... I gotta stand on top of this car to show it to you guys. It'll be uh, much better once we get into the driver's seat. Uh, so you can see though we go all the way to the back to this rear spoiler. Now this spoiler is actually really cool. I'm really happy with the design. Uh, this is using the Durf mod pack of course guys. So this is just surface panels as well as wedge surface panels. So you can see that it really unlocks a lot of possibilities in the design process. Uh, and actually, talking about design, I wanted to know as well from you guys, would you be interested in seeing, like, a video, the kind of like a tutorial on the way I make cars? Because it wouldn't really be so much of a tutorial, because everyone knows how to make a car in the game. Uh, but I would definitely be very uh, happy to make a video that talks about my design process, uh, how I choose all of my parts and pieces, and where they go. Uh, so let me know down in the comments about that as well. Because one thing I do really enjoy is making the wheel wells now. So as you can see, the well definitely like really contours the wheel pretty good. I can actually change my suspension down if I wanted to, and you can see that it actually does rest much closer. Uh, but I actually have this suspension almost not maxed out, but because the bouncing on the highway here is uh, pretty troublesome sometimes. So I'm really happy with the rear of the car here as well. You can see that it has the like centered exhaust system right here. This is something that I saw in the picture. Now the pictures had some really cool lights obviously. Now these ones are just the modded ones. Uh, so maybe uh, in the future we'll see some cooler, bigger and more unique lights. But until then, uh, this is kind of just making do with the rear lights there. Uh, so we might as well just hop right in and kind of start driving it around because this is the best way to experience the car is by getting to see it all the way around 360 view. Uh, you just get a good sense of the, uh, the scale of the car as well as how all of the design components really work together. Uh, so it definitely drives pretty, pretty decently. Now I did add the one key which adds the headlights and I also added something a little special to this one. I added the two key which is actually downward thrust. Now the reason why I did the downward thrust was because if, if I turn it off right here like this you can see if we actually start to gather a little bit of speed uh, we'll start to bounce around really really badly. You can see we're bouncing. I mean, we can pretty much stay relatively straight, but if we stop or try and change directions, it's gonna spike you in the other one. Uh, so it's pretty unfortunate. So what I did end up doing, of course, was adding the downward thrust. Uh, so we might as well just kind of set ourselves back up right here, and I'll show you guys what it looks like now with the downward thrust. So I press the 2 key, and that turns it on. 
and we can pretty much just kind of hold W now, and I mean, you, as you can see, we will kind of stray uh, from one side to the other as we bump around, but the main difference is that we actually stay straight now, so every time the wheels touch back down, you can see that the car kind of wants to straighten itself out. Uh, so it's a little bit better, obviously it makes the turning way different, so that's that's kind of a workaround for the bouncing that we see, uh, something that I think everybody is really looking forward to, like, seeing fixed in the game is just how bouncy it is. Alright, so one thing I should mention as well is the way you get in and out. So obviously right here you can see on the driver's side, it's like there's a window that's down here, and then on this side, there's also another window right here for your passenger. Uh, so I decided, guys, like I mentioned in the last car video, I'm not putting doors on my cars anymore because you could never open them. They cause so much lag, it's really pointless. Uh, so in this case, though, if you did want to get out, you just press the F key. And now, as you can see, you're half in the in the roof there. Now all you need to do, though, is press Control, and that will kind of crouch you and pop you out. So the, it's a bit of a workaround with the lack of doors, obviously. Um, I mean, it's really unfortunate that the, the lag is so bad, even when you just add a couple doors to a car like this. Alright, so we're just gonna kind of make our way off of the highway here, as we usually do. Now, this one reacts terribly to the ramp here. I'm gonna show you guys. This is kind of getting out of hand here. I'm not too sure what to think of this. If we wanted to make a nice slope with a very specific angle, so obviously you put it on bearings, right? Now, watch this, though. If As soon as I drive this car, on my everything stops working like my bearings stop working um, it seems like the suspension stops working as well and you can see right here these wheels are totally screwed up now they don't even want to drive anymore uh, and I it's just what kind of a reaction is that I'm not sure I'm whoa, okay that is look at this so that's pretty bad and I'm not too sure if there is a way to fix that. Maybe you guys might know of uh, something that I don't when it comes to like the wheels and stuff and the way bearings interact on surfaces. So now I need to put this car back on a lift because it is totally screwed up. The wheels won't even fix themselves anymore. Um, so I'm not sure guys. Let me know what you think about that in the comments if you have a solution. I would love to hear it because I mean, it kind of makes this cool highway world obsolete because I can't even make my ramp here. So, I mean, I think in my past videos with this ramp, I was actually just driving it really hard. So I think that's probably the best thing to do is just drive right over it and try and pretend it doesn't even exist. No, nope, never mind. Now my wheels are like, they look right cross-eyed now. So obviously another thing I should probably mention in this video is the fact that we have this highway world. Now I am going to be adding an undercover cop car as well as like uh, you guys were mentioning I should make like a highway patrol station. Uh, so I was thinking I would do like an under undercover cop car as well as the patrol station in the next video with a new car. Uh, so let me know guys which kind of undercover cop car do you want to see? I know I am asking you guys a lot of questions in this video when it comes to cars, but I really do want to get a few more cars out of the way, uh, because honestly I have so much fun designing them. I think they are actually one of the funnest things for me to design, is just something really cool like this. So there it is guys, it is the 2017 Ford GT, I sure do hope you enjoy this build because I had a lot of fun making it. I, I personally am extremely happy with the way this vehicle turned out. Uh, so I sure do hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, of course, like the video or like the build, then make sure you do hit that like button. It'll certainly ne let me know that you guys are enjoying the content and you are ready for some more Endless Scrap Mechanic. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I got a few questions for you guys. I'm really excited to see what you have to say about all of them down in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, make sure you subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic as well, uh, because that's what we got going on here on the channel. Uh, so, again, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will be seeing you guys in the next one, so bye for now.